shotgun, all out blitz, fires to the corner of the end zone. Engel's there, he has it, touchdown! It's caught at the five, Engel breaks a tackle, touchdown! Snap back to Nelson, Nelson over the middle, toward the end zone, has got Engel, what a grab! And the touchdown! On fourth down, Engel to go high to get it at the high point, and the Gophers take the lead. Yeah, it's been a pretty good time to be Derek Engel, Howard Glenn, and Mike back here on BTN Live. It's time we turn to our April Air Hotline and bring in the man who had two touchdown catches in just the first half alone this past weekend. Derek, what was working so well for you and your offense on Saturday? Um, you know, I thought we just came out with a good game plan and had a good balance between pass and run. And, you know, we did the flea flicker on the first play of the game, so that got us some momentum going right off the bat. And, you know, we just uh, we just played a good game overall, a good team win, and you know, I was in a good good position a few times to make some plays for us, and you know that's what I did. So, um, you know, we're happy with the win, but you know we're ready to ready to move on to Penn State now. Your teammate David Cobb's had three straight hundred yard rushing games. How come? Um, you know, he's just a workhorse, and you know, credit to him in the off season, just the last two years, he's persevered through a lot of things and just. You know, kept working his butt off, and you know he's he's gotten his opportunity, and he's taken full advantage of it. And and we got a good play from our O line. You know, they were working together well. Um, John Christensen went down, and Tommy Olson came in and stepped up for us big there. Receivers are you know getting to the second level, let them pop some of those longer runs. So you know things are kind of rolling for us now. We just gotta keep keep learning from our mistakes and improving on each uh, each uh, victory. How from an offensive standpoint were you guys starting to feel in this game versus Indiana when Indiana started to mount the comeback? Um, you know, we just we knew we had to stay in the game and we couldn't get down on ourselves or get in panic mode or anything like that. And, you know, they got they came back from the 22 point lead pretty quick. So, you know, we had to, we just had to stay focused. And uh, on that last drive, we knew we had to put some points on the board. And, you know, we came down there and a good play call, got Max Williams right in the steam and Phil Sott threw a perfect ball, so you know we just stuck with it, and it wasn't the prettiest way to win at the end, but we get, we did what we had, we had to do to get the win, so you know we're happy about that. Derek, you mentioned Penn State. Here it is. It's November. The Gophers are seven and two. This week, Penn State at home, TCF Bank Stadium. Describe the anticipation yep. by the football team and the atmosphere on campus. I um, mean, you know, we, we expect a great atmosphere there and, you know, some really people around here aren't used to as a 7-2 team at this time of the year. I, know, I think it's been quite a few years since we've been at that point. So, um, you know, people are excited about it. We just got to, you know, stay focused and remember where we came from. You know, we have we set ourselves for high goals at the beginning of the year and, you know, we're, we still haven't lost that vision. We're, we're right where we want to be and um, we just got to, you know, take on Penn State, prepare for them like we have every other game and just, you know, come out and play 100% and have some fun. Derek, amongst the players, who's the leader in the locker room? Um, I'd, I'd have to say Aaron Hill, the senior linebacker. Um, he's kind of been a leader through the offseason with us. And also Josh Campion on offense as well, our, our right tackle. So, you know, those guys kind of, you know, get the guys going and, you know, just are in a leadership position. And then, you know, we got guys like Rashid Hagman and Brock Vereen as well, you know, seniors. And Rashid's obviously a big part of our team. And you know, I'd say he's probably our vocal leader on the field. So... Now we got we got some good uh, upperclassmen that are leading us well. How involved do you expect Coach Keel to be in the offense, continuing to move forward? Um, you know, I'm not I'm not really sure. I mean, he, he's kind of said himself. You know, he doesn't really want to change much right now because we got things rolling. Um, you know, he's he's fine sitting up in the box and just you know why change anything if we're winning games right now? So I think um, he's happy where he's at and you know where we're at. So you know he's continuing to you know show his face more in practice and in the locker room and stuff and behind the scenes so you know it's always good to see him and he's definitely our leader and you know we won't be even close to where we are without him so you know we got a lot of respect for him and um you know we're just happy you know he's doing well and you know getting better Derek Engel it's a good time to be a gopher thanks for the time congrats on the great first half and a few more games this season I appreciate it guys thanks for having me